Hello everybody and welcome back. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at Simona's Requiem. This is a 2D platformer that is inspired by the old retro action adventure platformers. So it looks really interesting. It looks kind of cool. So we're going to take a look at it and see what we have in front of us. Simona. Simona, we need you once again. We call upon your service. At your service, you creepy bunch of heads. Don't play fresh with us, Simona. You still owe us one boon. As you keep reminding me over and over and over and over. Yes, yes, enough of that now. Our will is absolute, our service is paramount, and our reach is astronomical. And your smell is funky. What is your point? We have one unaccounted soul still missing. A king, no less. I knew the king wasn't dead. Long live the king. Your wit is as dull as your blade, Simona. Pay attention or your light ends here. Sounds ominous enough. Please carry on. We have a mission for you. Travel to Luna Turgo. In a decrepit land, a king is hiding from our grasp. I thought your reach was astronomical. Just... Okay, okay, I listen. We need you to find the Fisher King and bring us his soul. It is way overdue. Sounds simple enough. What's the catch? No catch, Simona. Just a task. Perform or perish. Now go. All right, just don't put me in some sewer again. Do you know how hard these robes are to wash? Last time I couldn't get the smell of eggs off for weeks. Well, that was kind of an interesting intro. I am intrigued now who we are. It looks like we're some kind of, and of course we've been put into the sewers. Great. Upward and onward, I guess. Time to find the king. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, so we have got... Oh, I like that slash. That is pretty sweet. So it looks like we are some kind of Grim Reaper in service for some funky heads. And we have to go after a King's Soul. So we got a attack and a jump. It does not look like we have a double jump. So so we go up with the up. Okay. Can I go past? The, okay. I can go past the stairs and I can jump on the stairs. Oh, that's awesome. I can jump on the stairs. I think I can. There we go. But I can also look like I can fall down through the stairs, which is kind of nice as well. Some of those mechanics are a little bit harder to deal with in some retro games. The staircases are not all made equal. I love the little like poof cloud when she lands, even on the steps. That's pretty sweet. Can I jump off the stairs? It doesn't appear that I can. Down in A. Let's. Oh, I can't go that way? There are blocks in my way. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Well, let's see here if I can jump off the stairs. Yep. That's kind of cool. I like that. Very impressive. I like it quite a bit already. The Crypt. Okay. Oh, oh that was kind of eerie the way that light came on. I would like to walk a little bit faster, but that's not, I, I guess, a prerequisite or a necessity. Ooh, I would say that's maybe a save point. Come on, go up the stairs. All the way up the stairs, Simona. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, that looks like some kind of save point there. I'm thinking this is just setting me up for the platforming and getting used to the platforming here, kind of. I'm thinking the idea for this, there doesn't seem to be any enemies here. And you don't seem to have to push diagonal, it's just up and she goes on the stairs, which is very nice. 
that diagonal can be something of a pain sometimes so just when you're near the stairs you push up and you go i'm always checking for wall turkeys as well we might find some at some point i don't know i like how she goes up through the where sprite goes up through the floor there a little bit kind of giving you a little bit more room to maneuver i see that door over there but i'm curious i thought i saw something over here and i'm want to know what's going on can i talk to him good day good sir yeah what in the name of the moon is this witchcraft the dead are walking out of graves now i'm a glass half full kind of person so i would like to think of it as just a little life deficient who are you i am become a death destroyer of worlds <gasps> okay well that side sounded a little bit creepy i don't really want to go into any doors quite yet i'm intrigued about what's up here and my normal concept is to go where it's not shut off first Ooh. then then we get to go in and through doors well, we're collecting a little orbs i'm not sure what those are for west where off town crypts east broken bridge and clock tower okay i really like this tree and graveyard scene really amazing the town can I do anything in the town? It doesn't really look like I have any superpowers. I mean, any special powers. I just got the scythe here. Hello there, fellow. What's with the mask? What's with the stupid face? Is there something behind there? Can I poke it? One more step and this scythe gets to see some action. You hear me? Okay, sorry. I just wanted to poke. Okay, that's a little odd. There seems to be a light in this house. Can we go in this house? I would really like to go into the house, but let's see if we can jump and explore the upper. Ooh, that guy has some kind of mask on. Hello, you. Why, hello there. I don't remember when I saw a new face last time around here. I wouldn't call this a face. It's more of a convenient prop. People tend to get uncomfortable when they talk to an empty robe. You're funny. You know what? People don't say that enough to me these days. Can I help you with something? Are you lost or just passing through? A little bit of both, actually. I'm here looking for the king. We have some unfinished business. Oh, there's never been a king here. Just legends. Legends? Oh yes, people tell all kinds of stories around these parts about kings and moons and whatnot. I don't bother with that nonsense. I just try to live one day at a time. Sounds like you have it made in the shade. Do you know anyone who would know more about these legends? There was a knight who passed through here long ago. Or was it recently? I don't remember clearly. Anyway. He was constantly talking about how the legends were true in such nonsense. A knight, you say? Vague yet descriptive. I like it. Thank you for your help. Oh, it's nothing. Please, do take care of yourself. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. Okay, that's kind of cool. I did not mean to fall down through there. And we got a little kitty kitty over here. Can I sight the kitty? Was she it was a cat meow. Meow. Only eight left, you say? Wow, that's one crazy story. <laughs> I will never forget it. The part with the badger was insane. <laughs> meow. Totally. See you there, buddy. That's hilarious. This game is too funny already. Ooh. I think there's something up here that I can... If I could get up there... Can I jump? I was wondering if I could jump off of a hit, but it doesn't seem like I can do that. There is something up there, and that makes me believe that there is a double jump at some point. And I really like those flames back there on the wall. That's pretty cool. 
but let's keep exploring there looks to be another level here but i'm not sure if i can get to it there's no other stairs to be stared here i don't see any other stairs anyways wonder how i get up there there has to be some way to get up there i can't even jump on the wall there that seems a little bit of a difficulty i like the kitty kitty the kitty was funny yeah there's gonna be some way to get up there but i'm not sure how yet so let's keep on searching and see if we can find some more interesting folk the forest oh yeah i love the spikes those spikes are pretty cool i'm gonna assume that's like a little bouncer pad or something or oh okay it's a trigger yep okay i see and this is not looking fun here let's see if we can get across this as quick as we can there we go i like these zombies oh that bat is really cool looking too as well these enemies don't seem a very difficult yet but i'm sure they'll get a little bit more oh, i love that firefly right there i really like the background is done very well as well it's a very i can't bend down either every once in a while in a game i'll check and see if i can bend down but eh, this one doesn't seem to allow me very very good background the depth there is done extremely well here i like how the fireflies are both behind the background or parts of the background but also in front of it as well oh whoa wow did not expect that i almost jumped right into this so i have to jump oh gosh how am i going to get over that am i going to be able to jump over that ah shoot let's go this way for a little bit and see if we can find a way to get my health back up wow i did not expect that was really cool though i really like that i don't know even what it was that uh, log with all the spikes in it okay so we're gonna head this way and see what's on the other side of town and maybe we can run into something where we can go a little bit further hopefully I really wish she would walk a little bit faster. That's the one thing right now that I have a problem with is that she walks really slow. I'm not sure what these little things are that we're collecting when we kill people, but we'll keep collecting and hopefully they help us out at some point down the line. It's the zombies. Let's go in down here and check out these zombies. Oh, looks like we leveled up. That's cool. It looked like we may have increased our health because we leveled is there some okay key items upgrades level 2 xp hp that's pretty cool okay so there's definitely stuff to collect i love that big knife that that skeleton has it's really just it's just cool all around cool there can i jump i don't think i could jump up there i don't have a very big jump And the enemies come back rather quickly, so we've got to keep that in mind as well. I think I got room here. Here we go. Not want to fall in the very big pit of spikes. Oh, that's nice. That is another save spot that's actually fairly close, and I'm impressed by that does not look like we can get up there either can i go off the edge or is that going to just kill me okay that just hurt me i can't jump there has to be okay so we are not supposed to be up in the graveyard yet that's the only thing that i could think of at this point because we're blocked off both ways it's just the way i like to play we want to check this stuff out before we go into any kind of doors that's going to lead us off into another direction but we do know now that we're looking for a knight and that's going to be important i'm sure along the way 
Well, I can't get through the door either. Huh. I am at a loss right now, actually, of which way to go. Because these doors seem to be... Yeah, I can't. Really can't do anything to get through the doors. That's curious and indeed troubling on some ways because now I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I figured I was just exploring there for a little bit, but I can't jump that. I love the animation she has on those swings. Is there something in the rooms that I was missing? I don't think there was anything in either. Well, there was that up in that other room up there, but I'm not sure there was a way to get up there either. If I could do this jump right and get on those stairs. I'd be really happy. You know, really right on the edge on that jump too. I'm very intrigued by this game, but I'm also very confused at this point. Like right up there, there's two blocks that are different. I almost feel that there's has to be a way to get up there, but it doesn't seem like there is. Why would you put this mannequin here and a way to go through up there if there wasn't a way to get up there maybe i could jump after i hit something at some point there doesn't seem to be anything there is he either okay well let's switch that again and see that it has to be that log like we have to be able to get past that log somehow I just landed on a spike I like that the spikes are not instant death as well that's pretty cool definitely helpful there and if I fall on them they're gonna make me come right back I wonder if I could just jump over that pad like can I land here and then jump over is that what I was supposed to do way too simple for me I can't get that bad that bat was ooh. some of these jumps are like really close but I think I can manage them she doesn't have an extremely fast movement in the jump or the walk so I figure the jump shouldn't be that hard I could edge towards the like edge of the platform and not be too worried some characters have a real fast movement right at the beginning and you take off you know you try to edge to the edge of the platform and you take off really fast and it's easy to fall off the edge i don't think it's going to be so much of a problem in this game a moon field ahead I like that fire and the smoke that's really impressed with the graphics here red cave i love that turtle hello there I said hello oh hello there why are you sneaking around like that dude I just walked in here like a normal person walking into a giant cave full of monsters would do you could have knocked what where do you think you are you know what never mind let's start over I am Simona who are you Gustava the great explorer nice what have you explored so far i have traveled far and wide too much to tell really hmm can you share any more of your infinite wisdom this is definitely a red cave <laughs> i can tell you that much wow how do you do it it's easy if you take a look at this map you'll see where you are this doesn't look like anything. You're holding it upside down. Oh, thanks. You hold on to it. 
I have it all memorized. It will automatically update as you travel around the land. That's super kind of you. Thanks, Gustavo. Map is now available in the pause menu. Well, that's kind of cool. There we go. So we've got a red cave here. And then it doesn't seem like I can move around to see the other areas. But there we go. We got a little bit of a map going on, which is good. Can I kill this big giant tortoise thing? It is big giant. It looks like it has a lot of health. And I am worried. I need that little moon up there, though. I want the save point. I need the save point. I love that she swings it around in that animation when she gets a couple hits going. Very impressive. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's some dark ones that looks like... Okay, that was kind of neat that they made the dark ones drop me on regular blocks there. I wasn't even noticing it, but it's a nice touch so that you can see that these blocks crumble or these color of blocks crumble and you can it puts you in a spot where you're not going to get hurt by that but you can still see the effect of them and then it immediately goes into setting you up for making it a little bit more difficult over the spikes so that's i really like that it does look like when he goes in his shell i can't hurt him and we are going down it looks, oh we gotta be careful there was a yeah right over there of the spikes i gotta i really would like to have a double jump here too she walks way too slow for this Woo! i like that last one right there there was a section here after you do those jumps you can land on this one and take a little breather you go woo okay now jump on this one that's really nice that they threw that little extra block in there to make it a little bit easier to try to traverse that so you're not made to make all those jumps in a single pass perfectly so yeah he goes into every time i hit them they go into their shell and then it'll take it looks like three hits to kill but you can't just spam the attack button on these guys just because it, it well it will not help because the they are a turtle after all i wonder if these will all go away oh no only the ones i'm standing on okay so you can not stand on certain ones or maybe it's like every three fall or something like that oh shoot can i not get back up there oh man i want up there now no i should not have fell Ooh, the crypt i'm intrigued but also worried blocked off i wasn't paying that close of attention i'm very intrigued by this crypt here and see if we can go maybe find one more save spot you push for it a little bit more i would still like to see if there's any kind of i want to call him wall turkeys just from castlevania because here we go we got a little other little secret here Ooh, what is this the king hid from the world behind the moon epitaph one behind the moon that's very interesting i call them wall turkeys because from castlevania you would break in the early castlevania games you'd break the wall and there'd be a turkey there and it would refill your health i'm not sure there would be something like that in this game but i don't think it would be turkey necessarily but there could be something in the walls there's another moon but it doesn't look like i can get it from that direction i really like the way this level is 
designed it feels very castlevania for me like castlevania with the grim reaper castlevania basically and big old scythe that's what i'm feeling right now because the platforming feels very much like castlevania and how fast the creatures respawn feel like castlevania the map layout but i like it it's a pretty good game so far let's see what else we've got going on here you know we stop with the knifey thing skeletons oh we got another level the level up is also kind of in the way same as castlevania at least in some of the first ones i know in castlevania 2 had a level up system if you collected enough hearts you would eventually level up and it's essentially the same thing you're killing something and you're getting their essence or experience points or whatever to you're getting something from your kills so that you level up is basically what's happening Ooh, there was something up there that looked really creepy and i want to check it out i like the whole death idea here too is really cool i was a little worried about some of those jumps Woo! that was <laughs> some exciting platforming there these skeletons seem very simple but i like them i don't know there's something about them now that guy is really cool up there like they're not perfect the head is kind of cocked and the, the i don't know it's in a grimace and stuff it just i don't know it looks really cool it's almost cartoonish in a way what is this a double jump i was gonna say there has to be a double jump at some point but we've got wings that's awesome i like how they incorporated that wings is not just giving you a double jump it made it make sense oh can i not okay it didn't look like he was giving me a health above him i'm not sure why that was happening or i was just missing it but it really didn't seem like there was a health bar above that guy Now let's drop down and i think that's going to be a great place to end this episode we're going to be picking it up right here and we'll do two or three and see how it goes and then we'll see how we feel after that but this is the first episode of simona's requiem i really enjoy it and think you maybe should take a look at it there is a link down in the description below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode Bye, everybody.